think that'll work. All right, hey everybody, welcome to another video on the Trailwick Garage YouTube channel. Uh, I want to try something a little bit different. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions on, you know, at my age, how do I afford this car? How much does it cost me to own, um, insure, my payments, all that kind of stuff. So I just kind of wanted to get into it because I feel like it's a common misconception that, you know, young people, you know, between what, 18, 19, 25, uh, have a hard time or it doesn't make sense financially to buy a sports car like this and if it's so you know your rates and your insurance are just so sky high that it's just it doesn't make any sense and I also want to say I'm not doing this to brag I'm not doing this to show off going oh I'm 23 and I have a really nice sports car that's not what I'm doing I'm just I know where my mind was a couple of years ago thinking like I really want to afford one of those cars and what do I got to do to make it happen and that's what I'm kind of trying to share to you is exactly how I did it because hopefully it can help some of you out there um, that may be looking to do the same thing I did so I want to first start by saying, uh, if you haven't watched my other video on why I chose this car, uh, make sure you watch that video. I'll put the uh, the link to it up here in whatever corner uh, it is on YouTube. I'm not sure, but I'll link it up there. So make sure you check out that video uh, if you want to see why I chose this car over some of the other uh, options that I had um, and we're choosing between. All right, so we'll get right into it. So the first thing, uh, how did I buy this car? at the age of 23. So I just turned 23 actually like this past month. Um, so so I bought this car about uh, probably half a month after my 23rd birthday. So 22, 23. And you know, I've always had an interest in cars, uh, whether that be old cars like the 76 Corvette and the Blazer, new cars like this. Um, I've always just been interested in any kind of automotive vehicles. So it was about the time uh, I was starting to look for another vehicle. Like I said, my 2012 Camaro, the AC was bad on it. It had a lot of body issues, had 93,000 miles on it. And it was just really just getting super old for comfort wise for me to drive every day. It was starting to have issues and I just really didn't want to deal with it. And I'm to the point in my life now where I knew that I could afford a new car. Um, and you know, I just decided it was about time to, to make something happen. So the, the key thing I can tell you if you're young and you're looking at you know, wanting to buy a sports car like this, number one is, is save up your money. I know that's the most cliche answer I could probably give you, um, but in my experience, that's what I did to be able to comfortably afford a good down payment on this vehicle. So I'm fortunate enough that I have a full-time job. Uh, it pays really well for my age. And I'm not gonna get into like personal finances, that kind of thing, but um, I do have a very good job and I'm very appreciative of that opportunity to have that job at my age. Um, I am in the media field, so if you know anything about the media field and video and graphics, you know it is a good paying industry right now. So kind of a side note, if you are young and you're looking to get into an industry that's kind of booming right now and has a lot of opportunities, I would say definitely look into the media field. Um, I pretty much always had some kind of a part-time job. I started working in high school at the age of 14 actually because you could do it with you know parent permission all that kind of stuff. Um, it was a local job at the school system and it was just kind of a part-time you know I couldn't work until past a certain hour because of child labor laws all that kind of stuff but then once I turned 16 um, I could work as many hours as I wanted to full-time. And I will say my parents were very giving to me. I will be the first to admit. Um, they did buy me my first car. They bought me my Camaro. Um, I really didn't have to worry a lot about food, living expenses, things like that. Like my parents did take really good care of me and I am very fortunate for that. So I will add that note in here as well. But yeah, so pretty much I just started saving up all my money. I didn't really spend a lot of money on any unnecessary things in high school. I really only spent uh, and made big purchases on things that were gonna make me money in return. So for instance, I bought a really nice camera setup when I was in high school, which that ended up leading me into getting some more opportunities, some side gigs, that kind of thing that it earned me more money. So that equipment really paid for itself super quick. And then later I got on into high school, I actually ended up picking up another job uh, doing media stuff. I made videos for the school system and they paid me to do that as a job while I was in high school. And all that saving up that I did in high school, that was to buy the 1976 Corvette. That was to get the blue Corvette. Um, so, you know, I had, a, I had a goal when I first saw that car. Uh, when I was 14 years old, I said, I I'm gonna buy that car one day. And I saved up all throughout high school and ended up being able to purchase that car right before I graduated. But I'm gonna do a whole other video on that, kind of the story behind the 76 Corvette, the craziness that went about me tracking that car back down and the stories that I had of trying to buy it several times before, but that's gonna be a different video, but we'll, we'll get to that later. So then once I got to college, uh, I had a full ride scholarship, again, because of the media stuff. Um, everything was paid for, my books, my tuition, um, all of that was completely paid for. So with my job, um, 
at college, they actually gave us a stipend and actually got a lot bigger the more I got into school because I was technically a full-time position uh, having a graduate's assistant spot. And pretty much what I did with my stipend money was just, again, save up. I didn't really spend it on anything. I didn't have a whole lot to spend on college. I didn't really go out. I didn't do any of that kind of stuff. And again, if that's what you want to do, if that's where your priorities are at, then like I'm not going to judge at all. But that was just not really a thing I was interested in. I wanted to save my money up and put it towards something like this because I had a bigger goal in mind that I knew I could achieve eventually if I just saved up all my money. So then right near the end of college, I actually got offered a part-time position to come back to Enterprise um, and work again in another media job. It paid really well. I will say for a you know 21 year old in college finishing up college it was a very good paying part-time job I was on a salary um, I only worked like I think like 20 hours a week and I made a lot of good money and that's kind of where the bulk of my savings came from because it was almost like a full-time salary but I really still at the time didn't have any expenses to pay for so I pretty much just put all of that money into my savings only spent a little bit here and there to enjoy things and that's kind of where I saved up a lot of the money in my account to be able to put a down payment on a home, a down payment on this car, and just kind of start getting some of the more big boy purchases, I guess you would call them, uh, that I wanted to do as I graduated and got a full-time job. All right, so now that brings us to the present. Um, now I'm very fortunate enough to have that full-time job. Um, I've got a, a good salary, you know, coming in every month um, that I can, you know, be able to comfortably afford this car and, you know, not really have to stress about it. So yeah, it really was just that simple. Like th this car um, was decently priced. Like I said, it is a little bit older with it being a 14. Um, it is a little bit older. So it, it was already a lot cheaper than like what a like 2019 C7 would cost. And really, to be honest with you, I didn't have a problem with that. You pretty much get the same car older that you had in the earlier cars. Uh, as long as the car is in good condition, I had low mileage, it had been well maintained. Um, I know that Corvettes are very reliable, or at least the newer ones are from, from my experience. So I really didn't have a problem, you know, saving quite a bit of money by getting an older model year when I was practically getting the same car. So yeah, so I pretty much just saved up all my money. I had plenty of my savings so that I could put a, you know, a good amount down payment on this car. I put about a fourth of the value of the car, I put that down onto the car. So about 25% down. I know the normal uh, down payment on a car is like you know 10-ish percent is what they want you to put down. However, to get my interest rate down, um, I did want to go ahead and put more cash down on this car, particularly because just right now the climate uh, in 2023 of buying a car's interest rates are super high. Uh, the economy is not great. It's not really a great time to buy a car, but you know I, I needed a new car and I just kind of wanted to do it. And then also I didn't have a lot of credit history. And that's the next kind of point that I want to get into here is, you know, as long as you're responsible with your money and you don't take advantage of it, I would definitely start building your credit as young as you can. Because I'll say in the last, you know, year, um, I purchased my first new car, newer car, and my first home. And I will say that credit is key. I never really had a lot of credit growing up. Like I, like I said, I always saved up. I had a, a lump sum of money in my account at all times, my savings. So if I wanted to make a big purchase or if I needed it, it was there. So I really never did use credit, nor really knew how credit worked. Um, so it was kind of a, a shock to me, you know, being 22 years old, trying to buy our first home and buying a car and not having any credit. Um, it, it did kind of make it difficult. But fortunately enough, we were able to work with some really good lenders um, for our house and also for um, my vehicle to where they kind of understood where I was coming from not having credit history and they were kind of able to see my track record uh, and the short credit history I did have that I've always paid on time. I paid off my balance and you know immediately as it's there. And then with that bigger down payment, it did you know let the lenders want to work with me more than they probably would uh, if I was trying to put down you know eight, five, eight, ten percent on the car um, and not have a lot of credit history. So yeah, that's my first two main points. I would say, you know, save up so you can put a decent down payment on the car to where it, it makes sense, but you still have a good rainy day fund. And then two, uh, start building your credit as early as you can, even if it's not anything big, even if you just get, you know, a small credit card with a $500 limit and you just use it to buy your groceries, your gas. I would definitely start doing that and kind of build your credit young. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is uh, insurance on this car. So that's kind of the 
that was really you know the idea I had going into it before I bought this car was I'm 23 years old this is my first car purchase in my name um, and it's a new insurance policy everything else has been on my parents insurance so this was my first time getting insurance on a vehicle and it just happens to be an almost 500 horsepower sports car so I've heard the horror stories of you know how bad insurance rates get for young drivers um, so I kind of figured it was gonna be bad but that was a misconception I had because um, you know we worked with our local State Farm agent, which we know the guy very well. We know our agent. We've known him for a long time, um, and he was really great to work with on kind of getting this to make sense. So we actually saved a ton of money because we bundle our life insurance, our home insurance, and our auto insurance all together. So we moved my wife's car over into that account too, and it actually drastically changed down the amount I'm paying a month on this car. So my insurance on this vehicle, you know, everything included, uh, it's only about $130 a month, which is really not that bad in my opinion. I've seen, you know, rates of, you know, upwards of two, close to $300 for some young people that are insuring these cars. And it was actually gonna be more expensive to insure a 2018 Camaro SS than it was this, because this car is a little bit older. I was already kind of dead set on getting this car, and that was my one fear, is like I'm gonna have a really high payment every month, and then I'm also gonna have to pay really crazy insurance money. But then when that insurance quote came back, um, and it was, you know, $130 on this car, I was like, you can't beat that, I've gotta go with it. So yeah, my recommendation as far as insurance, you know, keep a clean driving record. Uh, that's a big thing. Any kind of ticket or points that you have when they go to pull your uh, record to do your insurance, it's gonna negatively affect it. I know that, you know, a even one ticket on your driving record can double your insurance a month. I, I've seen it happen, I, I know it's gonna happen. So yeah, just be really cautious about that. Be a good driver. Also, um, you know, like I said, we have State Farm. Um, this is not an ad for State Farm. I'm sure that there's great, you know, tools and incentives in other companies. But that's gonna be my other recommendation is to just shop around, you know, see what kind of offers and incentives they have. So like for us, uh, we got young driver, you know, fresh graduate uh, discount. We got, we get the safe driver discount. You put the little chip in your car and as long as you're driving safe, you get a good discount on there. So I would definitely shop around uh, different insurance things. If you don't already have a policy with the company, I would definitely recommend shopping around with different places and seeing who kind of offers the best incentive for young drivers, drivers with good, drivers with good driving reports, that kind of thing. So again, that's kind of all my main points. Again, I don't make this video to brag and say that, oh, I'm 23 years old and I'm driving a really nice sports car. That's, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just trying to share what I've learned being a first-time car buyer and not really knowing a whole lot about going through the process of owning a newer vehicle. A lot of my vehicles are older. Like, you just buy them in cash. Uh, with the old Corvette, you buy it in cash, you insure it through Haggerty. It's a super simple process. So buying a newer car the first time, having to make payments on it, kind of working through the finances, that was all new territory for me. So I just kind of wanted to share some of my experiences that I've learned. I hope that I can help somebody out there out. At least you can kind of get an idea um, if you're kind of in the same situation I'm in, you know, how to make it work, what can you afford, how to get the best price and deals on your vehicle. And also I will say, um, you know, if you have the option to buy a car in cash, there's a lot of give and take there. Personally, I would say do it. Uh, it's a lot, but you don't have to worry about payments. Right now in today's climate, the interest rates are super high. You know, back you know two or three years ago when you could get pretty much zero interest on cars, it made sense to finance because why would you not finance when you're not paying any interest on it? But for me, it just made the most sense. Uh, we're financing our house right now, and I just decided to finance this because it makes the most sense. I can pay a little bit of money that comes out of my paycheck and then reinvest and then reinvest some of the other money into, you know, things like this YouTube channel, building and growing this. Some other side businesses that I've got going on, ventures that I'm starting to work with. Because right now my life is kind of, in my opinion, is the prime time to sign and start setting yourself up so that by the, that way by the time you get in your late 20s and your 30s, you've kind of got some businesses set up and growing um, that are going to earn you revenue in the long run. So that's really the main reason why I decided to finance this car. It just, it made the most sense financially to do that. Well, I guess that's it. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, um, just drop them in the comment or send me a message. I'll be more than willing to answer them um, the best I can. I know that each person's case is kind of different when it comes to you know buying a new car, how much you're gonna pay, um, interest rates, insurance, all that kind of stuff, but I'll try to be the best help I can. Uh, I really just kind of want to be a tool 
um, and kind of share share any insight that I have throughout this experience with anybody that you know may be looking or interested in, in buying a car similar to this. So that being said, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked this video or you found it helpful, uh, like the video, you know, comment, subscribe. Uh, it'll help us grow the channel. It'll help us get the channel to where we're wanting it to go and be able to make some really cool content with not only this car and my other cars, but hopefully in the future, you know, buy some other cars, do some different builds. And uh, hopefully that'll, you know, kind of help the channel, you know, get where it's want to go. I really enjoy doing this. Uh, you guys know I'm in the media field. Uh, so this is just kind of a side thing I'm doing. I like cars. I do media. So putting them together just kind of makes the most sense. But anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.